So they say if you ain't learning, you ain't earning. So hopefully we can learn something through these historical photos we about to check out real quick. All right. So if you knew, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, man, and spam the like button. Let's check them out. Tunguska incident. This eerie photo of trampled trees is tied to one of the most enigmatic historical phenomena, the Tunguska incident. It all began in 1908 in the remote wilderness of Siberia. The morning of June 30th began like any other day. Out of nowhere, a tremendous explosion rocked the Tunguska region of Russia. The blast was so intense that it flattened an estimated 2,000 square kilometers of the Siberian forest. In a short span of time, millions of trees laid flat in a radio pattern. Reports came flooding in from locals who described seeing a fireball brighter than the sun streaking across the sky. The blast, they said, was accompanied by intense heat and shock waves that shattered windows and knocked people off their feet, even hundreds Jeez. of kilometers away. And yet, despite the large scale of damage that this incident caused, no one has ever found an impact crater. When investigators finally reached ground zero years later, the scene was eerie, a vast stretch of desolation with no discernible remnants of a meteorite. So what caused it? Was it a comet made up mostly of ice that simply evaporated upon entering our atmosphere? Was it an asteroid that disintegrated before making landfall? Or, and yes, we're going there, could it have been something more extraterrestrial? To this day... Don't say that we're going there because you can't rule that out with all the information that's coming out in the news now. So this is like one of the enigmas of this planet, bro. And that's got to be the worst for something that catastrophic to happen but there's no reason or explanation as to why. That's why I say I love space and everything going on and, and all of the headway we're making with discoveries and everything. But this planet here is still an enigma, bro. Still. Hey, the mystery of the Tunguska incident persists. Number 19, the isolator. In this day and age, it's challenging to stay focused on our work. Gadgets are all around us, ready to take our attention away from our work. The yep. same was true for people in the 1900s. They might not have had consoles, phones, or social media, but even people at the time found themselves straying away from important tasks from time to time. Today, we have timeout applications that lock our phones until a specific time. There are also fun to-do list applications that motivate us to- I need one of those timeout applications, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty good at-, at Telling myself, okay, now it's time to to get your work done. But sometimes, you know what I mean? You may, you know it's time for you to get to work, but you come across something on social media that send you down a rabbit hole. So those little apps, hey, they can come in handy. Until a specific time, there are also fun to-do list applications that motivate us to work and complete our goals. But in the 1900s, they had the isolator. And it's a mystery to us how people at the time thought this was a good idea. Just imagine it's 1925 and you're struggling to concentrate on your work. Maybe there are too many distractions, or perhaps you're just having one of those off days. Instead of reaching for a cup of coffee or taking a short walk, imagine putting on a terrifying oversized helmet that essentially blacks out the world. Designed by Hugo Gernsback, the isolator was intended to be the ultimate focus tool. This thing covered your entire head and had tiny slits for your eyes so you could only see what was directly no. in front of you. No. The mask was made of solid wood, and if that wasn't intimidating enough, it also had an oxygen tube attached to ensure the wearer could breathe. Yep, because cutting off all your senses and almost your entire oxygen supply is the perfect recipe for productivity, right? Yeah, no. That sounds like I'd have a panic attack the moment I put it on. Its creator, Gernsback, believed that by isolating oneself completely, the mind would be free to focus solely on the task at hand. While it's true that being too comfortable will most likely lead you to getting distracted, getting put in an extremely uncomfortable situation has its downsides, too. Number 18. That thing was... They actually did that back then? You put that on? <laughs> I was just... The entire time I'm looking at trying to picture myself and see if I could see myself doing it. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't see myself doing that, no. The mysterious disappearance of the Amber Room. Imagine stepping into a room where every inch of the walls glistens with pure amber, gold leaf, and sparkling mirrors. A room that was so stunning that it was often wow. hailed as the eighth wonder of the world. 
This was the Amber Room, a world-class masterpiece initially constructed in the 18th century in the Catherine Palace of Tsarskoye Selo near St. Petersburg, Russia. Gifted by the Prussian King Frederick I to Peter the Great, this mesmerizing chamber had over six tons of amber and took over a decade to construct. However, during the Second World War, as the Nazis swept across Europe, they looted and hoarded countless art treasures, and the Amber Room did not escape their grasp. In an act of wartime plunder, they dismantled the room, packed it into crates, and shipped it off to Königsberg, a German and Prussian city now in modern-day Russia. After the war, the trail went cold. Some said it was destroyed during the air raids. Others claimed it was hidden away in a secret location, waiting to be discovered. Various expeditions and investigations were launched, and yet not a single one was successful in finding this secret room. To this day, the Amber Room's disappearance stokes the fires of legend. Was it a casualty of war, forever lost to the flames? Or does it lie concealed in a forgotten cavern or secret chamber, waiting to be unearthed once again? Number 17. It's probably concealed, and there's probably a lot of meetings or discussions or places that are, or different things that are taking place in that room that we need to be privy to. That looks like the perfect setting for some of those meetings that we talk about and hear about or different things like that that be going on. The Leather Man. This might look like another homeless person, but this man is among the most mysterious people that walk the roads of Westchester, New York. In the 19th century, this man, only known as the Leather Man, was a staple sight around New York and Connecticut, making a predictable 34-day loop of about 365 miles between the Connecticut and Hudson Rivers. The Leather Man's punctuality was so impeccable that households expecting his visit would often have food ready for him. Despite his looming presence, here's the most astonishing part. No one truly knew who he was. He spoke very little, and when he did, it was often in grunts or gestures, which probably contributed to his name. Over the years, countless tales and theories sprung up about his origins. Many said he was a heartbroken lover, wandering in an endless attempt to mend his shattered heart. Others speculated he was a businessman gone bankrupt, now roaming the lands he once walked as a prosperous man. However, each theory was more speculative than the next, and not a single theory was ever verified to this day. In the later years of his life, and even after his passing in 1889, the Leatherman's story continued to captivate. In 2011, when an attempt was made to exhume his remains for analysis, they discovered his grave held no identifiable human remains. And so, many believed that the Leatherman would remain unknown for the rest of time. Number 16. Wow. The Mythical Man The renowned Grigory Rasputin, a man who remains infamous to this day, a man whose name became synonymous with enigma and whose life remains shrouded in controversy and myth, a man who even in death continues to generate countless conspiracies. Born to a peasant family in Siberia, Rasputin rose to prominence not for his lineage or wealth, but for something far more intriguing, his alleged mystical powers. Now, whether you believe in the supernatural or not, it's undeniable that Rasputin had a certain charisma that drew people, especially the Russian elite, towards him. His entrance into the political theater came when he was introduced to Tsar Nicholas II and Tsarina Alexandra. Their only son, Alexei, suffered from hemophilia, and the royals desperately needed a cure. Enter Rasputin, who seemed to ease the young Tsarevich's symptoms, whether through prayer, suggestion, or some other means, Rasputin's interventions appeared to work, which cemented his position in the royal circle. However, with great power comes great controversy. Rasputin's influence over the royal family, especially Tsarina Alexandra, didn't sit well with many. His behaviors, which many deemed scandalous, combined with his role as an advisor to the Tsarina, made him a lightning rod for criticism. Rumors spread about dark rituals, hedonistic parties, and political manipulation. The more threatened the Russian nobles felt, the more they wanted Rasputin out of the picture. And so, a plot to assassinate him was hatched. But Rasputin, true to his legend, didn't make it easy. Tales of his assassination are the stuff of legend. Poisoned wine and cakes that didn't kill him, multiple gunshot wounds that didn't stop him, and eventually, a watery grave in the icy Neva River. To this day, the line between fact and fiction regarding Rasputin's life is blurry. Was he truly a mystical healer? Or was his influence merely a product of the desperate hopes of a royal family in crisis? 
And was his assassination? Yeah, yeah. I expect the stories about you to grow when you start to find the odds like that. When nobody can't really do nothing to harm you, everything they try don't work and backfire on them. Yeah, yeah. The stories that travel around and people hear about as your name grows and becomes bigger, yeah, the stories are going to become more elaborate. I expect that. You know what I mean? Which, rightfully so, they should. <laughs> a product of the desperate hopes of a royal family in crisis. And was his assassination as dramatic as legend suggests, or was it a more straightforward, albeit brutal, affair? Number 15. Dang. Train he liked the 50 Cent of that time. Remember 50 Cent was shot nine times and, and survived and all of this type of stuff like that? He, that was him back then. In wreck. This might not look like it, but this photo shows what happens to a train after a boiler explosion. Steam train boiler explosions can occur due to various Whoa. factors, often involving safety valves or components of the boiler rupturing under pressure. The thin metal pipes in the locomotive's boiler can rupture forcefully during an explosion. Can people survive that? That's on the train, can they survive that incident? That type of incident happening? The twisted metal, scattered debris, and the sheer force that tore apart this once functional train are sobering sights. It seems like a simple railway accident. But there's something weirdly unsettling about this photo, don't you think? Number 14. 1,000 Human Teeth It's normal to want to keep mementos from each of your clients regardless of what your job is. However, it becomes bizarre when you're a dentist. Almost an entire century after the closure of a dental clinic in Valdosta, Georgia, workers discovered something unexpected in the walls of the old building. About a thousand human teeth. What's stranger is the fact that it was the third building with walls filled with human teeth in the state. Just what's up with dentists in Georgia in the 1900s? Did they have a secret cult? Or were they planning to compare who has the most human teeth collected? It's unknown whether teeth collecting was a trend for practitioners at the time, but hey, with three other buildings having the same teeth stash, it was probably a secret hobby for dentists at the time, right? I must say, and I always had an eerie feeling about Valdosta. We normally drop the kids down there to Kayla's aunt when we go down to like Florida or something for like a couple's vacation or me and her going on a vacation or something. We drop the kids there. Um, I'm, I'm having second thoughts about doing that from now on. I always had a weird feeling about Valdosta though. That it's pretty unsettling to imagine. Number 13, Mickey Mouse Club Meeting. Rewind to 1928, when a cheerful anthropomorphic mouse with red shorts and big friendly eyes made his debut in Steamboat Willie, a creation of Walt Disney and Ub Iwerks. Mickey Mouse became the core memory of children from all across the globe, but this photo captured at the first fan club meeting of the said character doesn't seem too kid-friendly. I don't know about you, but this gives me the creeps. And that's coming from a Disney fan. Like a room full of Wayne Gacy's. Number 12. Egyptian Mummy Seller This is a photo of a street vendor selling mummies that were originally interred in tombs in the height of Egyptomania. The discovery of ancient Egyptian tombs and artifacts ignited a fire of fascination across the globe. Suddenly, everything Egyptian was at the height of fashion, from architecture to jewelry, especially the mysterious relics of the bygone era. But this fascination had a dark side, one that would see the theft, desecration, and commercialization of sacred artifacts and mummies. As tales of golden treasures and mystical tombs spread, a less than noble group of opportunists saw a chance to cash in. Tomb robbers, driven by the insatiable demand for all things Egyptian, began to plunder ancient burial sites. Priceless artifacts, jewelry, and even mummies were ripped from their eternal resting places. Many Europeans, entranced by the mystique of the ancient civilization, were eager to own a piece of the magic. They didn't just want to read about Egypt or see it in museums. They wanted it in their living rooms. And so, a black market for mummies and relics emerged, with artifacts blatantly sold to collectors and scholars. The sad reality? Many of these incredible pieces of history were lost or damaged beyond repair. Mummies were unwrapped at parties for entertainment, relics were melted down for gold, and countless items were shipped across the seas, their origins and context lost forever. Number 11. The Mystery Behind M.V. Joyita MV Joyita was once a luxurious and grand ship set sail in 1955. It was originally set to traverse the ocean in a routine voyage from Apia, Samoa to the Tokelau Islands. With a crew of 16 and 9 passengers on board, 
It seemed like just another day at sea. However, it became clear that this wasn't the case. Five weeks later, the ship was found drifting some 600 miles off its intended course near the Fiji Islands. What's bizarre is that the ship was in a severely damaged condition, its radio set to the international distress call, and most alarmingly, there was no sign of any passengers or crew. All crew and passengers of the ship disappeared without a trace. You would think that the cargo was robbed by pirates, but there's more to the ship's story. Despite the extensive damage, including a sizable hole in the hull, the ship's cargo was largely intact. So what could have caused a fully stocked ship to be abandoned? And where did everyone go? Why did the ship's passengers disappear without a trace? Was it a mutiny? Pirates? Or something supernatural? Did they escape on lifeboats, only to meet an even grimmer fate in the vast Pacific? Or was there a more sinister event that led to the ship's abandonment? Sadly, despite exhaustive investigations, the fate of the MV Joyita's passengers and crew remains an enigma, with the ship dubbed the Mary Celeste of the South Pacific. Number 10. Wow. The Zodiac Killer. Back in the late 60s and early 70s, Northern California was plagued by horror due to a serial killer who named themselves Zodiac. This figure wasn't content just committing crimes. He wanted an audience, and he ensured he got one by sending chilling letters to local newspapers. He sent letters with taunts, threats, and puzzles to the police. But unfortunately, no one managed to decode the cryptic ciphers. If there was even a single individual who managed to figure out the meaning behind the symbols, the authorities would have been able to figure out the Zodiac's next course of action. While some of these ciphers have been decoded by dedicated enthusiasts and experts over the years, others remain an enigma to this day. And as for the man behind wow. the mask, just like the rest of the enigmatic figures in this video. I heard about him, uh, the Zodiac Killer, before, but I thought all the enigmas had been solved. To know that some of them still haven't been solved yet to this day is insane to think of. That's crazy. Sick people in the world, man. Seriously, some sickos out there. And they'll use this. The new ones will use this type of stuff to feed on. They'll worship him and, and try to emulate him or whoever and, and try to do the same thing. That's the sad thing about it, man. The copycats that spawn from stuff like this. His identity remains unknown to us to this day. Some say he's a very influential politician. Some say he was just another high-intellect criminal, while some say Zodiac is a group moving as one. Each person seems to believe a different theory, so if you have any explanations about the story of the Zodiac Killer, feel free to share them down below. Number 9. Anti-Electricity Campaign Can you imagine what our world was like before electricity became a thing? At the time, everyone dreaded nightfall a time when the entire neighborhood would be engulfed in darkness, save for some homes illuminated by lamps and candles. Everything changed when electricity became more widespread. However, would you believe that despite its convenience, many opposed electricity in the 19th century? I guess it's true that with every significant change, there's bound to be resistance. And the rise of electricity was no exception. Now, while many marveled at the glowing light bulbs and the magic of electrical devices, others weren't as charged up about the idea. And by that, we mean they were downright terrified. Some saw electricity as an unnatural force meddling with the very fabric of the universe. Others thought it was just plain witchcraft. Just take a look at this propaganda editorial cartoon that was created sometime in the 1900s. It goes to show just how many people wanted to halt the advancement of technology because of the fear of the unknown. Much like their modern counterparts, the conspiracy theorists of the 19th century had a pension for pinning elaborate tales. Rumors spread that electricity could steal a person's soul, that it was a tool for mind control, or even that it could awaken the dead. Now imagine if they only saw how the world is today, they'd regret ever thinking that electricity was a bad thing. Now, but if we go without it, there's going to be a purge. <laughs> so make sure you can protect yourself and lock all your doors and barricade yourself in because I just feel like if the, the power to the world goes out, bro, purge is coming. Number eight, bizarre swimming inventions. No, this girl isn't featured in a horror movie and she's not trying to spook out the other swimmers either. What she's wearing is a full face swimming mask, which sounds pretty stupid now that I'm hearing about it. This mask was designed to protect its wearer from the harmful effects of the sun. 
but it surely doesn't protect the wearer from looking like an alien creature or a monster. But this isn't the only bizarre aquatic invention in the past. This is the Old Gentleman, the oldest diving suit in the world. Crafted in the 1710s in Sweden, this diving suit pioneered underwater exploration. The suit's helmet, also leather, had a window for the diver to see out of and tubes attached to the surface for air. It might have been a very primitive suit, but you gotta admit that it has no reason to be this creepy. Number 7. Letter Written by a Lovesick Woman This might look like pencil scribbles, but this is a love letter written by a woman named Emma Hauck. Addressed to her husband, Emma wrote, Darling, please come, and come, come, come. These two phrases were written in German. Emma was diagnosed with schizophrenia, and as her brain made her more and more sick, she continued longing for the love of her life. Schizophrenia is a mental disorder that makes people conjure images in their minds. Imagine your mind painting vivid pictures, sounds, and stories that feel incredibly real but aren't anchored in the world we know. Schizophrenia does just that, causing hallucinations, delusions, and altered thoughts, making the distinction between reality and imagination blur. The line that separates what's real and what's not disappears. You can only imagine how hard it was for Emma to remain in the asylum during a time when mental health wasn't well recognized. Just imagine her anguish and loneliness, waiting for her husband to come, day after day, while battling with her own mind. Fortunately, individuals who deal with this illness are becoming aware of schizophrenia and how to hopefully manage this mental illness. Number 6. The Man in the Iron Mask The Man in the Iron Mask is one of the most mysterious figures in history and this remains true to this day. The story of the man in the Iron Mask can be traced back to the 17th century. Among the prisoners during the reign of King Louis XIV was a man wearing a peculiar mask made of iron. To this day, the big question remains, who was this man, and why was his identity hidden from the world? He was imprisoned for several decades and held in various jails, including the Bastille. His very existence was a secret, with even his jailers purportedly unaware of his true identity or the reason for his lengthy incarceration. Over the years, whispers and speculations flourished. Was he of noble blood? A threat to the throne? Or someone's dark secret kept hidden from prying eyes? Famed writer Alexander Dumas fanned the flames of intrigue with his novel The Vicomte of Bragelonne, ten years later, which popularized the story of this mysterious man. Through Dumas' lens, the masked man was presented as the twin brother of King Louis XIV, imprisoned to ensure he never claimed the throne. But of course, these theories were never confirmed. Historians have pointed fingers at various figures from the era, suggesting the masked man could have been anyone from political prisoners to disgraced nobles. Yet despite numerous theories, the man's true identity remains to this day a mystery. Number 5. The Codex Gigas This book might seem like an ordinary spiritual yeah, book from years it. ago, but this is among the most mysterious creations of all time, the Codex Gigas. Weighing in at a whopping 165 pounds, this book has an incredibly chilling story. Legend has it that a monk sentenced to a dire punishment promised to create a book glorifying the monastery in a single night. Desperate as the hours waned, he supposedly invoked the devil to help complete his gargantuan task. As a thank you of sorts, the monk added, The fact that we kept something like this, there's something seriously wrong and crazy about us, bro. Why? Why would we not take this and put launch it into space somewhere? I just don't think keeping this around is a good idea. I never have. I've heard about this book before, and I still don't think that keeping it is a good idea. No. added a large illustration of the devil inside, giving the Codex its nickname. Inside the book were the Old and New Testaments, medical texts, local history, and even spells. Over the centuries, spells. the Codex Gigas has traveled, been coveted, stolen, and even survived wars. Just think about it. How did someone in the 13th century create such a monumental work with such consistency without our modern tools? And so, this book remains one of the most controversial objects in history. Number 4. The Levitating Man Colin Evans is among the most mysterious people of the early 20th century. He was a British spiritualist who wished to possess otherworldly powers. At the time, Evans gained followers quite easily. After all, he lived in a period where seances and mediumship were all the rage. 
People were fascinated by the possibility of connecting with the other side, and many mediums like Evans claimed that they could be the bridge between the living and the departed. However, what set Evans apart from the crowd was his audacious claim that he could levitate. Now looking at this alleged photo of him levitating in the air, you know that there's something fishy going on. These black and white photos from the 1930s depict Evans suspended in midair during his seances. To the naked eye, it appeared as though he was genuinely floating, with attendees watching in amazement. But the thing is, Evans could only levitate in a dark room, and he could only levitate when shot by an infrared camera. Those are pretty specific conditions, huh? Of course, right. skeptics at the time were quick to point out that Evans didn't have the ability to levitate. Rather, he just simply used camera tricks, simple science, and the faith of his followers. But to this day, some believe in Evans' capability and mysticism. Number 3. McDonald Horror As a kid, I've always found clowns, including Ronald McDonald, horrifying. But wait until you see the very first mascots of this fast food giant. Back in the 1960s, <laughs> this clown looked incredibly different. No. He's a man with a tray for a hat, a magic belt that dispensed unlimited McDonald's treats, and a bizarre cup-like nose. And let's not forget those creepy, offset eyes and the oddly styled costume. To many, this Ronald looked less like a cheerful mascot and more like a character from a child's nightmare. That yeah, they were smart to change. They had to change. <laughs> Could you imagine? No. I, I, this just screams creepy to me. Just no, 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 thank you. Thankfully, over the years, Ronald underwent several redesigns, transitioning into the more palatable and globally beloved character we know today. McDonald's are now tolerable, except for the fact that their ice cream machines are always broken. Bummer. Number two, the Babushka Lady. Hey. Let's face it, we've all come to a point when we couldn't stop reading and watching historical conspiracies. If so, you probably know about the Babushka Lady. But what's her story? Guilty. On November 22, 1963, former President John F. Kennedy was assassinated during an event in Dallas, Texas. Amidst the chaos, the Zapruder film, perhaps the most famous footage of that tragic day, and other photographs revealed a peculiar figure. A woman wearing a headscarf, reminiscent of Russian grandmothers. Hence the name, Babushka Lady. In most circumstances, there's nothing suspicious about this lady. But unlike other bystanders who scattered and panicked after the gunshot, this lady was holding a camera, calmly. If such footage or photos existed, they could offer invaluable insight into the assassination. Despite efforts by the FBI and other agencies, the babushka lady's identity remained elusive. She never came forward, and the images or footage she might have captured that day have never been found. Over the years, numerous individuals claimed to be the babushka lady, but definitive proof has been, well, unreliable. And now it's time for today's topic. This is a rare and historical photo that scientists can't seem to explain. Have you ever wondered if we're truly alone in this vast universe? Or if there might be truths hidden by powerful figures that could change our understanding of reality forever? Surely you're not the only one. Throughout the years, there have been many photos and stories about alleged alien interaction. The Roswell incident, and of course, Area 51, the ultra-secret U.S. military base in the Nevada desert. There were rumors about experimental aircraft reverse-engineered from captured UFOs to actual extraterrestrial beings working hand-in-hand -hand with scientists. Do you think influential people really are hiding alien interaction from us? Or is this nothing but a baseless conspiracy? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Number 1. The Mysterious Identity of the Woman Who Helped Medical Science if you have knowledge in the field of medicine, perhaps you've come across a seemingly ordinary name of a woman, Harriet Cole. She's a woman who, despite being studied across the globe, remains to be an enigma. Harriet Cole's body, or at least what remains of her body, became the most popular reference for the detailed nervous system dissection. Her body was displayed as an educational tool, with the original one at Philadelphia's Hanuman Medical College. For the longest time, Harriet's backstory was shrouded in mystery. Who exactly was she? Initial narratives suggested Harriet was a cleaning woman at the college, but over time, tales of her being a needy woman or someone who died at the college's affiliated hospital also circulated. It was clear she was African American, and given the historical context, this raised even more questions about her life, 
her choices, and the circumstances leading up to her becoming a vital anatomical display. It was clear that Rufus Weaver, the anatomist responsible for her dissection, did a splendid job, with the entire dissection taking over five years to complete. However, many are now questioning whether Harriet really consented to her contribution. To this day, Harriet Cole's decision remains a puzzle. Do you know about any other historical mysteries that we didn't include in this video? Feel free. Uh, the main one is we need to get rid of that book. The, the, the devil book. <laughs> That's what I like to call. The devil. We need to get rid of it. Again, I'm all in favor of us launching that bad boy out into space, man, and just getting it far away from us as possible. Who knows? Maybe all the wars and the fighting may stop. Maybe we can come together. Who knows? That could be the source and the reason why we go through what we go through. Anyway, man, y'all let me know if y'all learned something new in these historical photos, man. I, I still love to do this, though. It's your boy, man. Y'all stick around and stay tuned, man. Leave a like. Till next one, I'm gone. Peace.